There are lots of things I love about anatomy, but one thing I'm less keen on is routinely having to deal with words that I either struggle to spell or struggle to say. In this video, I want to look at a topic that sadly fits into both categories, the splanchnic nerves. More specifically, I want to look at the thoracic splanchnic and how they provide sympathetic innervation to the abdomen. Now for this, I'll be building on some ideas that I looked at in my previous video on the sympathetic nervous system. So, if any of these terms look unfamiliar to you, I'd recommend checking out that video before watching this one. Previously, we saw how preganglionic fibres leave the spinal cord between the levels of T1 to L2. These fibres enter the sympathetic chain and travel to different vertebral levels before synapsing in the ganglia. We then have postganglionic fibres that leave the chain and travel out into the body. The thoracic splanchnics do something slightly different. They'll start off the same with preganglionic fibre from T5 to T12 leaving the spinal cord and entering the sympathetic chain. However, these fibres don't sign up inside the sympathetic ganglia. Instead, they leave the chain and make their way towards the abdomen. As they do so, they come together and form our three splanchnic nerves. So, fibre from T5 to 9 will form the greater splanchnic, T10 to 11 make the lesser splanchnic, and T12 continues at the least splanchnic. Now, the preganglionic fibres need to sign up at some point before they reach the abdominal organs. But how can they do that if they've already left the sympathetic chain? Well, these fibres sign up for collateral ganglia that are out in the body and near to the target organs. These are known as the prevertebral ganglia, because they're found just in front of the vertebra. For this video, I'll only be looking at four of these ganglia. Superiorly, we'll have a celiac ganglion, then an aorticorenal ganglion below this, next will be a superior mesenteric ganglion, and then finally an inferior mesenteric ganglion. Postganglionic fibres from these ganglia ultimately supply most of the abdominal viscera, and if you've already looked at the blood supply to these organs, you'll notice a very similar pattern. So, the celiac ganglion innervates the foregut, superior mesenteric fibres go to the midgut, and the inferior mesenteric supplies the hindgut. The aorticorenal ganglion, on the other hand, sends postganglionic fibres to the kidneys and suprarenal glands. So, now we just need to look at which splanchnic nerve goes to which ganglion. The greater splanchnic nerve sends preganglionic fibres to the celiac and superior mesenteric ganglia. Some of the lesser splanchnic fibres also pass to the superior mesenteric ganglion, with other fibres from the lesser and least splanchnic synapsing at the aorticorenal ganglion. Now, that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover, but I possibly left you with two important questions. First, what about our inferior mesenteric ganglion? Where does this get preganglionic fibres from? Well, for this, we have a separate nerve, known as the lumbar splanchnic, that originates from L1 to L3. Fibres in this nerve take exactly the same path as before, passing through the chain without synapsing, and continuing until they reach the ganglion. The other question you might have is, why do all this? What possible benefit could there be for synapsing next to the organs instead of in the sympathetic chain? Well, to understand this, we need to look again at the differences between our pre- and post-ganglionic fibres. Pre-ganglionic fibres are myelinated, allowing them to send nervous impulses much more quickly than the unmyelinated postganglionic fibres. If more of the nerve is formed by preganglionic fibres, that nerve will be quicker. This is exactly what happens with the splanchnic nerves. By having their ganglia closer to the target organs, the majority of the splanchnic nerves are formed by those fast preganglionic fibres, allowing them to send nerve impulses much more quickly than the other sympathetic nerves. This means that during our sympathetic fight or flight response, signals reach the abdomen before anywhere else, slowing down digestion and giving us an immediate jolt of adrenaline. So that's an introduction to the splanchnic nerve. If you have any questions, please just get in touch. But otherwise, thank you for watching.
take care and I'll hopefully see you again soon.